Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about how can we generate a 3D model or you can say 3D deconstruction from an 2D images. So it should be very awesome. So please watch the tutorial till end. So let's get started. Researcher at Facebook and University of Southern California recently introduced a new paper called PIFUSD. So this actually paper, uh, they actually talk about the how can we actually reconstruct an image in a 3D. That's we need to give here a 2D image and it will give you a 3D reconstruction model. So as you say, as you can see here, this is the paper and you can also download this PDF version from here and you can also read that. If I go down, you can see here the result is actually look like. So they give the picture in a 2D format in their model and the model give us a 3D model. That's mean 3D reconstruction model. If I go down and you can see here the code and a GitHub link. Okay, so this is the code and this is the architecture. So they are actually uh, formulating the problem in a two step. You can see here one and the two. Uh, so you can, if I, if I go on the PDF version of the paper, just click on here and it will download it. So if you can see here, this is the paper PIFUSD. Okay, and if I go down, you can see here, they actually talk about the method and yeah. So you can see here, this is the actual uh, discussion that do that for the for this code part. Loss function, surface sampling, and font to back interference, how can actually they do that? They all, they actually discuss all the things here, okay? So you can also read this paper uh, from here and I'll be put this paper link in the description. You can also download that here. So now let's go to check the GitHub link. So just click on here to GitHub. So this is the official GitHub repository of the PIFUSD. And if I go down, you can see here this is the actual result you look like. And uh, record man is nothing but Python 3 PyTorch. They actually use the PyTorch. And this paper actually uh, also developed by the Facebook AI Research Lab. So that's why they use the PyTorch also. JSON, Pelo, uh, Scikit Image, TQDM, and the CB2. That's been OpenCV. They also some uh, use some visualization tool, let's say PyOpenZL and the FFMPZ. That is nothing but for the video. And that's what actually used for the Linux. Okay, that's why we are going to use our, what do you call it? Google call up so at least 8 GB GPU memory you have if you want to do this thing in your local machines. So they all already discussed about that. How can you actually test that? How can you visualize that on your local machine? So I'm not going to use that in my local machine. So I'm just going to click on the Google call up, open with Google call up. So I already opened this Google call up link before. So you can see a PIPFUSD demo. This is the GitHub link as you see before. And if I go down, you can see here some notes and uh, some YouTube links and how can you actually render this uh, 3D model in Blender and explaining how can you actually render that on Blender and we show you in live. Okay. So this is the code and this is the start string from here. So I'm going to just paste enter, shift enter. So it will clone in this repository. That's been the Facebook github.com, Facebook research.pifusd. So this is the official GitHub repository. You need to clone that. Then we are going to change the directory into the sample images because we are going to load the sample images from the sample images folder. Okay. So in this case, we are going to use the custom images that's been in our own images. So that's why I'm going to enter. So I'm going to select an image. So just click on browse and inside this, you can see here some picture and you can see here, see here the picture is nothing but with no background. So how can I do that? So you can use just you need to go on the Google and just search for remove background from images. So you can find so many uh, YouTube, uh, so many links here. And I'll recommend two links. Uh, first one is the remove.bg and another one of maybe leather. So this is nothing but the website name is nothing but the remove bg. I'm going to click it to upload and you can choose the images from here. Let's uh, choose this one and open. So it will take just two to three seconds to actually uh, remove your background, okay? You don't need to use Illustrator or something else or Photoshop okay, to remove that. You can also click on to download, but you can see a preview image. That's mean this time it, the image resolution is not so good. So if you wanted to you know, uh, download the image in HD version, you need to pair that. 
but they will actually give you uh, one free bonus so actually i load that so this is the another website you can see here slather and it will give you two credit that means you can uh, download uh, is resolution resolution image in two times okay so you just you need to click on here and just you can download here and you can see here the download is images and the preview images. so if you just click on the preview image it's not going to cart any money but if you go and download the hd images and you'll you need to pay the money but for first time it will give you two credit free that's when you can remove the picture only two times okay so our image browsing is completed so if i go down and you can see here this is nothing but the content fifusd and the sample images so if the path is not given so you need to go here and uh, actually give the path of the images it's nothing but chando.jpg is my name and I'm going to remove this one okay and I'm going to remove this one and paste it here okay this image so if I go here on the PIFU uh, SD and go on the sample images so you can see here chando.jpg is actually uploaded here okay so shift enter okay and they are not yep loaded okay and again change the directory from here and if I go down you can see here we change the directory into the sample images and now we need to go on our content okay now we need to pre-process that's been cropping our images so how can you crop that that's when we need only the body okay only the body so this is the github for that actually using the using shift enter again go on the pytors here again enter 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 okay just enter okay so it will take few minutes to actually do that okay if i go up okay so now you can see here this is nothing but the post estimation with the mobile net so they actually using some called holistic reasonary uh, in next i will actually uh, make a video for the holistic model in a media pipe then also you can understand it very easily okay now i need to download the pretain model if i, I already say you I open my git I open their official github uh, if I, if you wanted to actually implement this code on your local machine you must have a gb gpu and also you need to download the pretend model so in this case we need to also download this pretend model so enter okay so you can see a pretend model is nothing but 1.4 gb okay but in google call up uh, uh, this nothing but it takes just uh, one minute to download that but it's not actually card this type of mb okay but how can you actually do this thing in your local machine you need to download this model uh, let's say 1.4 gb okay this is a big file so now it's time to actually uh, load our pifusd model so shift enter so you can see here python and uh, this one okay so it will actually give you an obg file and using this obg file you can also uh, load this uh, 3d model in your recall in your blender so you can see here nothing but results chando and 256.obg if i go here on the results folder okay this is nothing but a sample okay results if i go here pifud final and the reconstruction and you can see here nothing but the obg file you can also download the video so i'm going to download this for later i will be actually loading this obg file on our blender and i will show you how the reconnection actually look like so this is nothing but result chandu and 256 i'm going to save that here okay close okay so if i go down you can see here we need to actually install the pytorch 3d so they say that if you get any error in the next cell you can instead try the polling command so don't forget to comment that okay so we need to actually uncomment these lines okay these lines and also these lines there's a nothing but some libraries it's required to actually uh, generate the video if you if, as you see in before in demo so shift enter so it will install some requirement from our lines and you can see here it downloaded all the requirement from online and it will take some minutes to actually do that okay so you can see running command git clone and building wheel for the collecting packages python 3d and it will take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to actually uh, build that 
and I'll be back with later or 20 uh, minutes later and I'll pause the video from here okay so 20 minutes later it will done that's me it will actually set up this Python 3d and now it will actually install this stars with Coda and the Tars visions okay yeah so you can see it actually install this okay so our installation process is done you can see here it give me some arrow we just start the runtime it actually start the runtime here and use and i think it will okay so you can see here it will initializing the runtime and okay ram is gone okay and if i running these cells so now you can see here there's some error okay if you import this failing due missing package okay so i think you need to actually import or run this shell before again so i'm go, just going to enter enter so i'm not going to import uh the picture from here because it is already uh, on the, our sample images folder so i'm just <coughs> Put here the shift enter shift enter okay okay if i go up you can see all the shell are running and it will download this 1.4 gb file and i think it will be okay six two one zero okay and you can see here it will resuming the checkpoint from the pipu usd.pt file okay and it will take uh, it also takes some seconds also okay then we're going to run the result and we already installed this all the package before so I think it will give us the requirement I will be satisfied okay resuming from why do lecture take time So our obg file generation is done. Okay, if I go down and it will install, it will say requirement already satisfied, and also the building wheels for the collected package, and also also it actually run this code from here. So now you can see her requirement already satisfied, and you can see her building wheels for the collected packages so i'm just going to click here to clear output and also go to the runtime and enter executions because we don't need that because we already do it before and you can see your operation cancelled by the user and it also looking for the downloads url and it also installed before so if i go here and run the code shift enter so it will give us the video so now you can see here this is the progressing bird it is nothing but for the tqdm so this library is for just uh, this kind of processing bird so now you can see here it's our output so if i run that and you can see here this is nothing but a picture and this is nothing but but a 3d reconstruction model okay so if i going to go up and uh if i going to uh, uh select another images okay so let's go up and run the code here and let's say uh, choose an images from our directory so let's say choose this one open and it will load it here and you can see here this is nothing but the picture okay and i'm going to copy that Control c and i'm going to paste it here Control b okay enter 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 okay just you need to go here and shift enter shift enter shift enter shift enter okay so i'm not going to actually install this uh, p uh, pytor 3d again so just i'm going to expect running that this one again okay. okay it will upload that turn it will go down go down yep it will actually download this 1.4 gb files and it will also uh, resuming the checkpoint from the pipusd.pt file so now you can see here this is the warning of pt is overwritten and test data size is nothing but two that's mean there are two images now first one is nothing but these images and i using the remove bg 
and another one is the Chando 256 we do before in this folder if I go here and you can see here there are two pictures on the sample images okay actually it is loading and that's why it's not actually showing me this okay yep you go here and you can see here these images and these images okay two images here okay and again if I go down now you can see here this is the result okay right so now you can see here these the this is reconstruct this image in a very well way and you can see here and if I go here and download the obg file from here uh, this is nothing but the texture if I go on the results on the PIFU is uh, is the final and you can see here result in a display dot mp4 and also mp4 okay and if I go here you can see here nothing but the obg file so I'm going to click here to download the files so now let's have a look how we can actually load this obg file in a blender okay save that okay so let's get started and see how can we actually render this 3d reconstruct model in blender so let's open our blender here okay so this blender just click on here blender and make sure that you install the blender in your local machine so just go on the google and search for blender and download it from their official website and it is so free okay so i'm going to click here to journal and I'm going to remove all the object from here, delete, and I'm going to click it to file and import. So now you can see here this is nothing but the web front and OBG. I'm going to click here and go the picture, and this is nothing but our OBG file, which we are downloaded from our Google Cola import. Okay, so it will import the uh, 3D reconstruction images. So you can see here this is nothing but the reconstruction images. So you can see here the move. So you can also move this image uh, model from one to another. Okay, this is the images. And this is nothing but the 3D reconstruction. Okay, so this is nothing but in the X axis and the Y axis and Z axis. Okay, this is on the Blender, so I'm not expert in Blender, but I know how the basic technique. So let's import the another picture also. That's another model. Import this one. Okay, so this is nothing but our another uh, 3D reconstruction model. Okay, so this is so awesome. You can see here. Uh, two images yeah, that's okay. you can also zoom you can also mop it okay in this direction this direction okay you can see here move okay you can also select that and also you can move that here okay just here oh. okay so awesome okay so you don't need to actually uh, worry about that and make a new 3D model using Blender, just you go on the Google Colab and follow my YouTube video and you can make an, your own objects using this Google Colab, okay? And also Python and PyCourse. So thank you for Facebook Air Research Lab and the uh, DKI, the University of Southern California and the Facebook community. Thank you so much and thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update and if you already subscribe my channel so thank you so much